Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this brink? I'll be right there, Commander Low. Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. Ken, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in zero-g under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows? It might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, Ken. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now, aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. I'm not here to spy on you. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in quadrant three. Hey, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brick. Of course, Commander. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. Let's head back to the shuttle and watch Attila do the old fire dance. Brink. Come in, Brink. Brink here. Have any theories about what a couple of nukes will do to a rock this size? The low gravity of this asteroid suggests it is either hollow or porous. 
If it is hollow, the explosions may cause the asteroid to break into fragments of unpredictable orbit. But I consider this a very low probability. Most likely, the asteroid is porous, in which case it will absorb the shock like a sponge. There will be cracks and fissures, but the asteroid will hold together. And the tiller will move into a more or less stable Earth orbit. If the radioactivity's at safe levels, you'll have a chance to explore the surface afterward. That's what I'm here for, Commander Lowe. To be the first to explore and report on the geology of a new moon. They couldn't have chosen a better man. I was the appropriate choice, yes. That's why I was willing to interrupt my work in order to take part in this expedition. Low out. Robbins. Come in, Robbins. Robbins here. What is it? Looking forward to your first nuclear explosion? I've been an observer at several nuclear tests, Commander. And I've seen the aftermath of a terrorist nuclear explosion. I'm glad to say I haven't. Not everything we reporters experience is pleasant, Commander. But this will be my first nuclear explosion in space. And the first one I've seen that's meant to save lives instead of destroying them. Even at this distance, some debris may strike the shuttle. Be prepared to obey emergency orders. I'm ready, Commander. Low out. Miles, this is low. Do you read? Miles here. How can they be so sure the surface won't be radioactive after the explosions? Well, the theory is that without an atmosphere and with so little gravity, most of the radioactive material will be blasted off into space and almost none of it will settle in the safe quadrants. But is the theory right? Hey, you're the guy in the cute suit. You tell me when it's all over. You'll know they were wrong if my coffin glows. Don't worry, Boston. My baby's down there monitoring the surface. We'll know if it's safe before you go back. I sure hope the map was right on the placement of the charges. That was decided by all them geniuses in Houston. Ours not to reason why, ours but to blast and fly. Low, over and out. Low to board and do your copy. I'm here, boss. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear, landing team. All clear, shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. Explosives armed. Houston gives us the go-ahead. Say when, boss. Do it. Now let's see, is it the big green triangle or the little red circle? Shut up and push, Ken. My baby's getting impatient. Here we go. We have detonation, alpha and beta. What are the instruments showing? Nothing big coming our way. What's the pig telling us, Cora? Attila's still in one piece. Hmm, there's a lot of seismic bounce and some, some fracturing. We're stable again. A radioactivity in Quadrant 1 is well within the safe range. What does Houston say, Ken? Everything's go for a surface walk and your option. Then let's go, landing team. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. I'm not making speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. 
You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose, and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. See anything unusual, Brink? It's hard to determine how this tunnel was formed. It wasn't created by the explosion. No, no, it's very ancient. The explosions opened the door, but this tunnel. Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know yet. It just feels unnatural. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here. 